What do checks and balances mean? In American government, foreign government. She's asking you which one. I don't know. In American government. <laughs> <laughs> checks and balances. Checks and balances is a critical way in which American government runs, which means that no one entity in our government overrules another. So they all work complementary with each other so that we don't have a dictator and so that the voice Um, Dr. Dexter, the question that I asked her, um, she said it all right. She gave all the information for the question to answer it, and um, good job, Dr. Dexter. What do checks and balances mean? Checks and balances are a part of our government that are designed to make sure that laws are created, are enacted properly, and that the people who have the power to do that are kept in check, and that there is no abuse of power, and that there's no one group that has any more authority over another. What are treaties? Treaties are agreements that are created between groups of people that outline different things that both groups will do, a kind of a compromise, if you will. What check does the judicial branch have over law? The judicial branch enacts checks over laws by in a in a court in the court system if they have to determine whether or not a, a law is being followed properly. And they get to determine whether or not the, um, the law makes sense. Is it fair? Are people following the law? Um, are citizens understanding the law? And that comes out during a trial process or in court, I think. Thank you. Please don't make me look. Miss Kakala, um, I like how she had, um, gave a lot of details and she compared other stuff with that details so it could be more understandable. Um, good job, Ms. Kakarawala. Checks and balances mean? Checks and balances. Well, I don't think we're talking about the grocery store. So, checks and balances are like dealing with the Constitution so, you know, one branch can't do more than the other. So the judicial branch has a certain about, amount of powers and if they exceed those powers, then the executive branch has to come in and say, okay, we're going to check you, right? We're going to make sure that you can't have, and no one branch has too much power. And I think there's the judicial, the executive, and the legislative, and they all can check each other. Um, um, what are tr treaties? What are treaties? Uh, they're like something that after two countries or two groups fight um, or they have conflict, they come together and they make an agreement so they don't have the fight anymore. And so they're rules that both groups can live by. Um, which... How am I doing on these? <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. We're not talking about the grocery store. Okay. What check does the judicial branch have over law? So you asked me, what check does the judicial branch have over the legislative branch? No, over the laws. The, oh, the laws. The law. So the judicial branch, they're the judges. They decide whether a law is constitutional or not constitutional. So they're, that's what they're checking over. To make sure that the laws that the Congress is passing are laws that we all can live by. Okay, thank you. Um, Mr. Artisan, you got everything right. You told every detail. You got the answer right. And um, um, maybe next time you can just add a little more information to the answer. And, and we're not talking about checks and balances at the grocery store. We're right? talking about for the U.S. citizens. Mm -hmm. And good job, Mr. Artisan. What do checks and balances mean? What do they mean? Um, so, checks and balances are built into... Who am I looking at? Clea, that's right, Mitchell. I'm looking at you. Okay. Checks and balances are built into our government so that none of the branches have too much power. 
go. What are treaties? I don't think I know what treaties are. Okay, skip. What check does the judicial branch have over laws? Um, the judicial branch has the ability to rule laws unconstitutional. Um. What are three powers of the legislative legislative branch? Yeah. Uh, three. They make laws. Stop it, clear. I don't know. You guys tell me what the other ones are. I don't even know. Um, Miss Grime, you did good, but you didn't know what treaties were, and you didn't know the two other powers of the legislative branch. So that's what we're here for to tell you. So treaties are when two countries are fighting each other, and then they make a peace agreement, and a peace agreement is basically a treaty, just a fancy way of saying it. And then two powers of the legislative branch are? Um, um, they write laws and approve um, presidential appointments. But other than that, good job. Good job, Ms. Curry. Can you recite the preamble for us? Uh, I think it's we the people, something, 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 uh, more perfect union, something, 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 like three more sentences and then it finishes. Why didn't you learn the preamble? Uh, I didn't have to take the Constitution test because I grew up in Pennsylvania. The Constitution test is an Illinois thing, so I just never learned it. Because I was forced to memorize it, I never learned it. Okay, Mr. Kuzma and Mr. Hoover, in this next clip you are going to see the real preamble sung by Miss Shore. Um, and I think you guys should look at the video of her. People, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice and ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and then assure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity to ordain and establish this constitution for the United States of America.